y'all so i'm on my way to the event uh, at the cleveland gallery the potluck and um since that little store didn't have the curry powder that i needed and i couldn't find it anywhere else i'm about to stop at popeyes and get like a bucket of chicken or however they sell their chicken for the potluck because i told the coordinator that i would bring curry chicken and like i was really excited to bring curry chicken <clears throat> But they didn't have a seasoning that I needed. Dang, look how long this line is. Wow. They didn't have the seasoning that I needed. And then on top of that, I mean, I guess it's Sunday. <laughs> I'm already 22 minutes late for this two hour event. They didn't have a seasoning that I needed. And then on top of that, they didn't have um i'm not feeling all the way like 100 percent back from whatever this is that i have a little cold the whole house is like feeling not the best so roti's nose is running um aya has a, a, a viral respiratory infection we both got tested for COVID last week because we thought we had COVID. It's been crazy. But I feel I don't I'm not running a fever anymore and I don't have a headache or like very sore throat or anything. It's just like the tail end of a cold that I have right now. So I should be fine. As long as I'm not eating anything at this event, I'm not gonna eat anything. And I'm going to um have my mask on for sure. So so long as that's going on, I should be alright. But yeah, I might have get this little chicken. While I'm sitting here though in this line, I wanted to tell look let y'all see my nails. Y'all look at this. It's crazy. Look at my nails. Okay. So I went to California nails. Yeah, because I'm about to just let y'all know. I went to California nails over. They open on the inside? Does I go inside? Because this line is ridiculous. Or does he work there? Because if he worked there, he need to get back in there. I need a bucket of chicken. Um. Anyways, yeah. So I went to California Nails over at Beachwood Mall because I was looking online for somebody that can do nails real good. I found this one girl, but she like not taking any new clients. It's so weird. They must be nice. But anyway, so I go over there to get my nails done. The girl that does the really nice nails, she is busy. Can't do my nails, so she get, has this black girl do my nails. I've never had a black girl do my nails because I've just never had a black person do my nails. It always be um he must have worked there because he about to go. It always be like a foreigner. And so yeah, so the girl did my nails. She didn't do them right. They broke off. Like this one, this is skin. The whole the nail broke off in the middle of the freaking my nail bed. It's crazy. Like and I can't get my nails done because this is skin. Like my nail needs to grow all the way back down. I wish it would focus. My nail needs to grow back down to the bottom. <clears throat> Maybe if I take the video off of myself. Y'all see this? That's crazy. It looks like I bite my nails. My nail needs to grow all the way down to the bottom in order for, um, at this point I'll show up at this potluck empty handed. What's going on? This line is not moving. Um, yeah, I gotta wait till my nails go back in order if I can get my nails done. But yeah, I was in this line, so I thought I'd just let y'all know why my nails looking trash. That's why my nails looking trash. My makeup is looking trash because I'm not feeling well. So I just did the very basic, <laughs> the very minimal. But I definitely want to make it out to this event. And um, just so I can show y'all a little bit more Cleveland. Because I know I be complaining like it ain't nothing to do here. It's so boring. But while I'm here, until I move back to Atlanta, I'm going to make it do what it do. Y'all going to get to see Cleveland before we get back to Atlanta. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm so sick. <laughs> I'm not so sick. Let me not claim that. I'm very getting very healthy. I'm getting. I feel way better than what I was feeling. I'll tell you that. Like if you if you thought if I had to go get tested for COVID, then you already know. Well, somebody came to work and exposed us to COVID. Someone came to work with COVID, and then I ended up having to go, and I wasn't feeling good already. So I was like, let me go take get tested, but it came back negative. So I'm actually off of work, y'all. 
I'm off of work, but luckily my job has um, whatever that is where they pay you for um, if you have to be off, um, if they have to close the place due to COVID. So I'm basically like on a pay vacation, but I'm not using my vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Hi, how you doing today? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. I got a weirdo in here. Um, yeah, I need a bucket of chicken. I need a bucket. Well, how you how you sell the chicken? One sausage sandwich. No. I need a bucket of chicken, sweetheart. I'm sorry, I cannot understand what you're saying. I hate it here. I need a bucket of chicken. What do you? How did? Let me get a sixteen piece. Did you say sixteen piece? Yes. Mine on spicy. Can I get like both? A mixture? You just want the chicken by itself or you want the family meal? I only need the chicken. I'm sorry? I only need the chicken. Just only the chicken? Yes. And you want to have and have anything else? No, that's it. $27.99. Did you say $30? $27.99. All right, I'm about to get this chicken. Yeah, I finally made it. They don't have a sign out here. That's crazy. No wonder they can't hear Hi, it. thank you. Uh, I finally made it, y'all. I'm excited. Oh, 
that's what you were saying. You're corny as fuck. Because I'm gonna go there and see. He said you're corny as fuck. I'm gonna get drunk and I'm gonna get drunk and you over here putting your heart on the line. Yeah. <laughs> we got a choice to pick tonight. I went to the little potluck model. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. So it was like a model potluck meetup. Just for people to like get to know each other and everything in the city and everything. So I went to that and then after that we decided to go to karaoke. And karaoke was like lit. It was lit. You, man, my voice is about to be gone, y'all. <laughs> Tomorrow is Monday. I'm so happy I'm off of work because of this COVID or whatever. But yeah, my voice is definitely gone because I was singing all kind of stuff at karaoke. But it was a lot of fun. So now we're getting ready to go over to this little, <clears throat> this little hookah bar. Or yeah, it's a bar or whatever. We have a little hookah. And then after that, I'm going to head on home to the babies. Because yeah, it's getting late or whatever. Wait a minute. Your destination is on the left. But why does she park over there? Y'all, y'all know I'm still new to Cleveland, so natural addiction. Oh, they might be able to do my hair the way I need it done. Y'all see, I got this hat on. Hold on, let me take this hat off, though. Like my hair is a fucking mess. <clears throat> I mean, it ain't that bad, but it ain't done done. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we on our way to um We're about to go in this little club. Oh, what is she doing? I'm about to park right here. I'm about to park right here. It says two hour park two hour parking, seven AM to six PM. Mm, no. Because it is so early in the morning. <laughs> the last thing I need is my car not to be here when I come out. I need my car to be here when I come out of this club. This is the adult in me, y'all. Any other time, I wouldn't. <laughs> Five years ago, I wouldn't give a fuck. But no, we're get, we gotta park. We gotta park where we supposed to park at. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when we get in here, maybe, because you know the music. You know how they be about the music. Let me put my hat back on. I might keep it off. I don't know. I'm not looking that bad, but it's whatever. I'm about to make a U-turn right quick. I gotta get off it. I will see y'all in this little place. Here. But anyway, y'all, I didn't made it back to the house safely. <laughs> I'm about to go in here and um, get settled and then lay down with my baby. I'm about to take her out of her bed and put her in my bed. <laughs> she probably not even in her bed. She probably in my um, Aya's bed, in my oldest daughter's bed. But um, yeah, y'all, thanks for watching. It's been real. Y'all be easy. Until next time, peace. About to go in here and get my hair done. Y'all, my birthday, my birthday is on Thursday. My birthday is on April 29th. So I guess this is gonna be my birthday hair. I don't know. But yeah, I got these Be, Na Be Nasty hair bundles. About to see what it do. Um, I'm over here at Hair Melodies. Hair Melodies in Cleveland Heights. Hair Melodies in Cleveland Heights. I'm about to go in here and see Raquel. Ew. Uh, I do not like the lighting right here. But yeah, let me go in here. Let me put my mask on first. <clears throat> Gotta stay safe, y'all.
the same one it was like a hundred dollars but um how do you feel about because <laughs> okay. about come and wash and blow dry because these stylists yeah other people don't i like when my clients want me to wash them only because well you know what i'm saying you're not washing your hair right right and I hate when I get in somebody's hair and it's like build up on your skin. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't like, did it right. That's I what I work over dirty hair. Like, I'm going to clean it myself because then I can see. And then I can feel it too when I know it's thorough. Right, that's how I feel. Cause these girls is these stylists. See, this is why I came to her. This is why I found her on Instagram, <laughs> and this is why I'm back, y'all. She did my ponytail, that real cute one. But this is why I'm back because the booking, like for real, like the bookings is crazy. Like these girls is trying to charge new client fees. I don't even know you. <laughs> I, then one person I book with y'all. I book and she like paid a deposit and then I'm gonna tell you where my shop is located. First of all, I live like an hour away from Cleveland. Yeah, really? I, I'm gonna That's need to know where your shop is yeah, before I do you? all of this, please. Like, girl. You better be on time too because we're gonna charge. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so they want you to be on um, time. She want me to come. Uh, let me tell you this. <laughs> one girl told me that I need to come braided already for a prime So I was like, girl, go to hell. I swear to God. <laughs> I go to hell. I was like, come break. I might as well. I can't. I gotta wash my hair. I don't even know how to do that. I'm saying, like, I mean, for me, I can wash my own hair because I understand, like, if you want a good press, you need to have, like, no oil in your hair. Right. So I understand that. Like, you know, wash it, rinse it on cold. I understand that only because I've been getting my hair down for a minute, but if everybody is not a, don't understand that. Everybody don't pay attention when they getting their hair done. And like you said, they be having build up. They just don't know. Yeah, like, I, and then I don't like to be smoking. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in here burning your hair and it's all yeah, your fault. Yeah, like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Girl, yeah, I had to get a style because I knew I wasn't tripping. I do love my washing hair. Yes, thank you. Yes, y'all. The vibe is always cool when I come. Y'all ever go to a new stylist and just sit there and it's quiet? No. <laughs> Not here. Not here, y'all. I definitely recommend. This is only my second time, but I, I definitely recommend Raquel. Over at here, if y'all in Cleveland. I know I got a, a lot of Atlanta viewers but y'all y'all be in the land oh y'all yeah i know she got a shop in atlanta <laughs> but if you in cleveland you come over here to raquel she gonna get you right yep. each and every time okay. hey y'all i'm about to go in here and get baby royalty from daycare <laughs> last time i got my hair done okay so y'all so royalty goes to a daycare where it's mostly white people white people <laughs> Only a handful of black people. So, why you got the window down? And I got the AC on. That's what I don't understand. So, um, <laughs> so the last time I got my hair done in that other little pronto, y'all, I came up to get royalty, and um, <laughs> oh my goodness, I came to get her, and the lady was like, "And who are you picking up?" And I was like, "What?" She was like, "Remove? Could you move your mask down?" So I moved my mask down and she was like, oh, okay, royalty. She was like, oh, oh, it's the hair. Like she said, she ain't recognize me because my hair was different. I was like, girl, that is so white of you. So let's see what happens today. Why you being racist? I'm not being racist. <clears throat> That's just racist. stuff. Here she come now. Let's see if she, why she looked that way? First, I was here first. Look, there she go looking. She said, come on. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm royalty's mom. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yep. I knew it. I told you. 
She did not recognize me, y'all, because I got my hair done. She knew who I was this morning. Oh! <laughs> she did not. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I said she was about to act like she don't know who I am. Because I got my hair done. Quit playing with me. Okay, what was my little She ain't ready yet. <laughs>